five. Now we're covering the 12 steps of the hero's journey. We're on stage five. And this is, of course, based on the novel Burning America and soon to be a screenplay. Because, yes, stay tuned. I'm going to start getting some information about the screenplay as well, too. So in stage five, this is crossing the threshold. You know, at some point at the end of your first act, your story may showcase a moment where the protagonist needs to cross the threshold between their ordinary world and the special world they will be experiencing as their inner or outer journey begins. The hero leaves their ordinary world for the first time and crosses the threshold into adventure. Here I'm gonna offer three ways crossing the threshold affects your story. Number one, shifts your story into gear. If we've been introduced to your protagonist through their ordinary world and have watched them finally accept the call to adventure, whether it be an inner or outer emotional or physical journey, it's always nice to offer a moment within that story that shifts everything to the next gear. We've gotten to know the protagonist and their world. We've maybe seen their insecurities, struggles, and fears when they initially refuse the call to adventure. Once they've decided that they're going to take the conflict on, we're at the turning point of the story, shifting gears from the first act into the second. In Castaway, when Chuck goes into the cockpit of the FedEx jet, he sees the danger at hand. We've shifted gears from his regular FedEx routine to something dire. He doesn't cross the threshold when he says goodbye to Kelly or gets on the jet. Everything is still within his comfort zone. He's still in his ordinary world. It's when things go wrong that he steps out of his normal work routine and into the special world he's about to experience. And it is vastly different from what he is used to. Now as a bonus, get in touch with me because I will give you and send you that exact moments that illustrate this example. In The Lord of the Rings, Frodo and Sam literally cross the threshold between the world they've known, the Shire, to a world they are unfamiliar with beyond the Shire. Likewise, get in touch with me and I've got a clip to show you that exact moment. In Stand By Me, the boys walk onto the train tracks leading away from their hometown of Castle Rock and it's both a literal and metaphysical threshold they are crossing. The tracks represent a physical path away from their home, and once they embark on their adventure, the boys are crossing this threshold from boyhood to a coming of age. Want to see that exact moment? Get in touch with me. I will send that to you so that you can see this example. These moments within stories allow the reader or audience to switch their own mindsets knowing that the characters are going to be facing the central conflict as well as many trials and tribulations throughout. It is the moment that truly captures our attention going into the second act. Number two, introduces the differences between the ordinary world and the special world to come. The special world is the world that the protagonist is about to come across as they deal with the conflict they've been forced to or have chosen to take on. And it's vital to the story to present a world that is very different from what the protagonist is used to. Yes, some great stories simply showcase a window of time within a character's world. But if you want to truly engage a reader and audience, you need to inject as much tension and conflict that you can. And you do that by taking them out of their element. In Castaway, Chuck is a character that is used to a routine, a schedule, and the technology that can help him maintain all of that. When he's stranded on an island, he's out of his comfort zone. In Stand By Me, when the boys embark on their adventure, there are no parents to guide them through life, and they've also escaped the constraints of the life they left behind in Castle Rock. It's just them, the tracks, a long and intimidating bridge, a murky swamp, and the coming-of-age conflicts and realizations that comprise the new world they've entered. Sounds like the environment I grew up in northern New Jersey, but I'll save that story for another time. In The Lord of the Rings, the hobbits are in a dark, strange, and dangerous world. Everyone is bigger than they are. 
They don't know who to trust and they certainly don't have enough food. They're out of their element. The threshold represents the difference between the known and the unknown. And there's a thrill, not just for the protagonist, but for the reader and audience as well, to the unknown. So presenting a moment or scene where we see the protagonist crossing the threshold is so impactful. It's subtle, but powerful. Number three, begins your protagonist's character arc. Character arcs are a must. Most people want to see a character change throughout a story, a transformation that they undergo as they take on the conflict at hand. When your protagonist physically or emotionally crosses a threshold, you're letting the reader or audience know that their character arc has begun. We've hopefully learned a little bit about them within their ordinary world. We've maybe learned a little more as they refuse the call to adventure, divulging their fears, insecurities, and reservations. Now we know that despite all of that, they're willing to take on whatever challenge they have been presented with. Their arc has begun. This shift allows the reader and audience a brief moment to feel the empathetic impact of the protagonist crossing the threshold. And the power of that moment pulls them into the story. They're ready to go on the ride. They're invested. They're curious and want to know how this character is going to survive the conflict. They know the baggage that the protagonist is carrying. They empathize with them and they are ready to go on this character's journey. Crossing the threshold is about shifting from the first to the second. Act one, act two and allowing the reader and audience to feel that shift so they can prepare for the journey to come. It showcases the difference between the protagonist's ordinary world and the special world to come. And even more important, we're introduced to that first shift in the character arc of the protagonist as they decide to venture out into the unknown. Stage six. Tests, allies, and enemies. Oh, wait a minute. That's for next time. So if you've got some good points out of stage five, hopefully you return for the next one. In the meantime, this is the doctor at the school. Facing these stages, my own novel, Learning America, in the best interest of the children. Until next time, Deus Volk.